See? It's right there. It's right there. Would you guys send back this table if you were me and these scratches? There's another little one right there. So there's two. Probably most people don't send them back. Probably most people don't even get on their hands and knees and look. But of course, it has to be the front leg. You know what I mean? They could have put any of those legs on any, but because I'm, yeah, I'm in hell and always have to be tortured, you can say, well, you shouldn't expect to perfection. Well, I can use those tub panels as a perfect example. And you know that whole fiberglass, whatever it is, acrylic fiberglass, that whole tub enclosure thing that cost several hundred dollars, just like the table and chairs did. And people kept saying that the one panel arrived scratched and they would return it. I didn't have that luxury because we got it through this contract and we don't know if they scratched it or, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm curious what you would do. What would you guys do? Would you just say, who cares? Does this whole table have to be sent back and re-delivered? Would they come and just do the one leg? Of course, if they did that, I'd say, I want to examine this leg you bring with fine-tooth comb. Make sure there's no scratches on it whatsoever. It's just the principle of the thing. You know the, the, your stuff's going to get scratched, but you like it to be perfect when, when it's first there, you know. I already had to deal with the scratch in the tub. I didn't like that. I mean, the, the shower, that whole thing. There were a couple scratches. But we don't know. Was a bunny up there on the window? We don't know if um, it arrived like that or if the contractors did it. And we'll never know. We had no choice but to put up with that. This, I could send it back, have my mom do it. You know, she's always the people pleaser. She's always the, the oh, you know, she's not going to stand up for herself. The other day at the restaurant she loved, she was with the church woman, she got a sandwich that she usually loves, and she loved it and loved it and loved it every time. It's not a, it's more, it's not a, it's kind of, it's not a fast food, it's above a fast food, they have really good food. It's not like a McDonald's, but it's, it's above a McDonald's, but not a full restaurant. But in any case, that's how restaurants lose customers. My mom's never going to go there again, and all she had to do was she wasn't happy with the sandwich because it didn't have enough dressing on it. But she was she made a face when I said, how was your sandwich? She goes, I didn't like it. And now she won't go back. When when restaurants don't have consistent quality of food, that's how they'll lose customers. My mom just didn't say anything at the time and now she'll never go back. I mean, and she loved it there. She loved the same sandwich she got. So that's just an example. Oh. My mom would say, who cares about that? And in the whole scheme of things, she's right. But of course, it's going to bother me, but everything bothers me, so what's the difference anyway?